Moral distress occurs when a person believes he or she knows the ethically ideal or right action to take, but is prevented from doing so because of internal or institutional barriers. It can result in depression, anxiety, emotional withdrawal, frustration, anger, even physical symptoms. It also leads to burnout. Researchers at Loyola University Medical Center published a study of emotional and psychological anguish known as moral distress. They studied nurses, in 13 of them, in an ICU for burn patients. Now those who participated in the month-long educational intervention wanted to decrease their moral distress. The intervention consisted of four one-hour weekly sessions. The first session outlined the study aims and the definitions of moral distress and the related concepts. Session two focused on the signs and the symptoms. Session three dealt with the barriers to addressing it. And in the fourth session, nurses were encouraged to identify strategies they could use to deal with moral distress. Nurses completed a questionnaire that measured the intensity and the frequency of moral distress. And they were divided into two groups. One group completed the survey before the intervention and the other after completing all the sessions. Researchers had expected the group taking the survey after the interventions would have lower moral distress moral distress scores, but they found just the opposite. The group taking the survey after the intervention had a median moral distress score of 92, which was significantly higher than the 40.5 median score of the group that filled out the survey before taking the course. So researchers determined that the reason that moral distress scores were higher afterwards was because they had a heightened awareness of what it was. Learning the definition of moral distress was valuable and it was helpful to learn that others in similar work environments were experiencing the same thing. Once they identified it, they could hear what others were doing to cope with it. Participants wanted more of this type of intervention, more coping strategies. With 40% of nurses reporting burnout, coping with moral distress is imperative to keeping them healthy, to keeping them caring.